Hello, people of New World. Happy Patch Day. It's me, Lamani, and I'm back. Today, I'm putting out a nighttime video because I think a lot of you want to know how can you best be getting your PvP XP, whether it's, you know, the easiest way, the most uh, turn off your brain way, or, you know, in between your arena grind and you want to be doing something else or be more active with your AFK time. Well, what are we doing here? First of all, I'm in Great Cleave, and it's going to involve this river and this point right here. All right, now I'm going to show you what you should be doing. So we're going to run over here and go pick up the PvP quests really fast. So before I grab them, if you didn't know, there's a couple different ways to get PvP XP, that being winning arenas, losing arenas, or doing these kinds of quests from your respective faction. Now the thing with arenas are they can take a different amount of time each time that you do them, and we're going to be taking as many as we can. You can pick up the Vanquish one. Sometimes this will rotate to a third one that's very easy to do. But you'll have to do this, and you'll go through, you stay flagged. There's already a significant amount of people doing this. I started doing it earlier today, and I think I optimized it pretty well, and I'll show you what I mean. But regardless, with arenas, you get that XP, but the exception is what if the uh, arena goes super long, right? Or what if the arena is like uh, a stomp and you lose, right? So then you're missing out. But by the time I do these, I can get these quests done before... I can actually reset. So the five minute timer on your reset of PVP quests when you go to the faction person. And so I can run over there, do these, do my little my little shindig that I'm about to do, and then go back. Now, when you're doing these, you won't actually have to run. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, so make sure you have a piece of wood and some flint. And again, it's probably gonna make the most sense to go put our camp right over here because most frequently you almost always have this mission so i'm going to put it right over here just so we can pick it up instantly and then we can run over do either this one or this one whatever's easiest you're going to have one that's on a timer sometimes the minute and 30 and then as soon as you spawn in it'll already start counting but if i put my campfire like right here we'll just do it right here just for safety okay and there with the new uh fort bonuses that went down instantly so this is my respawn point i'll grab this and then I'll go run over and do the other one, and I'll show you the best spot to grab the chests. But you'll pick up this one. It'll have you drop it back off over here. You'll pick up some chests here. And then you'll have to run back. Now, like I was saying before, you won't actually have to run every single time to go do this. You can if you want, and you want to save your repair bill. But the best way to do it is to actually kill yourself in this river um, and drown and then respawn over here. So uh, I'll catch up with you when we're back over here. I'll show you the best five chests to grab, and then we'll rotate back, turn it in, and I'll show you how you should actually start. Okay, so we're by this little water temple. Again, everybody's been pretty chill who's doing this, and if you have a group and you want a PvP, go ahead, go do it. The first one you're going to want to grab is underneath this waterfall. The uh, uh, Like, you end over here. I couldn't talk there. You end on the other side underneath the other waterfall. So we'll grab waterfall. We'll go over here, and we'll climb up. Again, there is some money that you could be, you know, you're grinding faction tokens, you're getting some money here, you're getting all kinds of stuff, but so we can go here, we'll grab that one, we'll go up here, let these people duke it out, I'm kind of a unbiased third party here, hopefully everybody's chilling, I'll just grab my chest, go on with my day, see you later gamers, appreciate it, most of the people are chill as long as you don't poke at them, and then we'll go over to this one, grab this. That puts us at four, and there's one underwater right here. Oh, and this guy will, you know, of course hit me. So you got to kill him really fast. At least, And the other thing about this spot is it's super safe, right? Because, oh, and I'm harvesting water. That'll happen at this one. Get in line. It's super safe. That guy accidentally hit me, but it's only level 43s. It's nothing too crazy, so we'll grab that one. We'll go end here. And then ideally, we'd get the three stack of this one. We'd go back and put the news there, and then we'd also sit here for a minute and a half. And I'll be back with you once I go and turn in, and I'll show you how you should actually start the route. All right, so we're going to go back here. We'll turn in. It doesn't take that long to get back. And then you boom, boom, 1,000 XP. You can reset this one. Sometimes it'll come back. We'll pick that back up. You have to make sure you don't get capped, but this gives you a ton of faction tokens, gives you some gold, all that stuff, and it's really good for your first one. And the other thing you can do is once you've capped, just buy a bunch of chunks of consecrated iron, and you can sell these for a couple, like 150, almost 200 gold, and you're making profit there. So that's another way to really maximize your tokens. You can get all your orbs, everything you would need to do. Now, how would we actually start this? So if you can see, my campfire is 413 meters away from right here. And then I will go over into the river. Well, first, we pick up our quests, right? Make sure that you have your two quests. And again, now that we have this set up, we will get it done before the five minute timer. And again, I'm still 450 away and it is, it is pretty close. It is pretty tight, but we can get it right there. And we should be right next to the retrieve the asset mission. So I'll do this. 
and I'll patiently sit here while I wait for all of my breath to go away. It'll take some time, but this will maximize your uptime. It is faster. And at some point too, you'll have it where it's like, oh, you still need 30 seconds until you can respawn your campfire. It's still gonna be faster than running over there and running all the way up to that point. So you can really maximize it and get the most tokens the fastest way possible. And so now I'll give up. We have our campfire tier five and looky, 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 I'll be right next to the asset that I need. And I'm already getting my hold the bite for one minute and 30 second timer. So again, we grab this, picking it up, picking it up. And then again, it's still ticking down and it even ticks down like in your loading screen. So it's perfect. And then we'll go right back. And then we just have to put this one right here and then we'll be good to go. And we'll get back again before we'll even get the next reset. So in between two, if you wanna start queuing for arenas, you wanna sit there, do your thing. Or if you're just like patiently AFK doing this and you're not doing much else and you just need to like sit and do something actively AFK while you're talking to people, it's a great move. So is this actually the fastest way? I think that's the question everybody's asking. Well, one, technically not. I think in general, this is the fastest legitimate way to do it. Um, you're again, getting at least a thousand XP every time. And that's on a five minute cooldown and you'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you're able to easily farm XP up. Now, the actual fastest way, but I think could potentially get you a, like a, a slight ban or suspension, depending on how they handle it, because they just put it into the game without thinking about it very much. Whenever you cap a fort, you're getting 1400 XP. What does that mean? Well, people in other factions are standing inside of the fort because it is an instance kind of zone where it kicks people out. If there's too many, you can just sit there back and forth and back and forth and flip it between everybody without doing any of the quests. And you're getting about 1400 XP per cap. That's probably the fastest way to do it. But again, I don't want to run that risk of potentially, you know, getting some kind of suspension or something for what they would call exploiting. Um, I, I just think it's it's too thin of a line there. So in the meantime, you can do something like this. I think it has great uptime, run with a group. And if you want to be that guy, it, it is world PVP. So go in PVP with people. You can get another quest done and you also get XP per kill. So you can do that in between your arenas. You can do this if you're AFKing. You can do it with a group and it'll promote some open world PVP. You'll get all those tokens. <laughs> You'll make a little bit of money and then you can flip those extra tokens into the things you need as well as just the resale mods so that you can make a little bit of cash. But I believe that to be the fastest way to get your XP, get out there with a group and let me know if you have any questions. As always, hit the socials below. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning and believe it or not, I'm gonna be trying to crush a watermelon with my thighs on stream tomorrow. But if you need anything in the meantime, drop a comment, hit me up in Discord, and let me know what you're thinking. But as always, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and thank you to every single one of you for being you. Peace.